So serial transmission program for PIC microcontroller. The statement is execution of program to transmit data serially using UART block of PIC microcontroller. So we are going to write a program in embedded C and uh, using this program we are going to transmit a string serially from PIC microcontroller to PC that is desktop computer. On desktop computer we can use hyper terminal software which reads the data from serial port or Terra terminal software. So to transmit a string serially we are going to use RCX pin of this PIC microcontroller. RCX is the transmitter pin of PIC microcontroller. So using RS232 we are going to transmit this string serially and this string will be transmitted to desktop computer where on using COM port uh, will receive that uh, string and that will be displayed on monitor of desktop using hyper terminal software or Terra terminal software or we can use any software which can read a data from COM port of PC. So the program to transmit string serially from PIC to PC, first we have to include this file p18f4550.h depends upon version otherwise you have to replace p by pic. Then we'll first write a delay program we need it while transmitting a string. So here one uh, variable i is declared as n sign integer and this for loop is written here to generate a delay. So continuously it will execute this for loop till i becomes 30000 and it will give us a delay. So to write a main program now, a few variables are declared here which we will use afterwards and the string which we want to transmit is declared here uh, with name s and we are going to transmit kkwieer and nashik and dot also we are going to transmit here uh, dash uh, will be transmitted. So first we have to declare this rc6 as a output pin because we are going to use it as to transmit a data. So for that this we are using this instruction trisc bits dot rc6 is equal to 0. So it is an output terminal. Then we have to decide the baud rate and as a, you know the baud rate should be stored in spbrg. So data related to baud rate is stored in SPERG. So baud rate we are going to use is 9600. And uh, as per the calculation for 9600 baud rate, the data is 4E. So that should be stored in this baud rate generation register. Then uh, we have to initialize this transmitter register. So this is initialized uh, with a binary value. So 0B is written here. But to initialize this register, we are using this asynchronous 8-bit mode transmitter we are enabling and using the speed as a low speed. Then we'll read a data from the string and uh, that will be initialized with variable data. So we have used here a fault loop as per the number of characters you can change this value, count the characters which we want to transmit and store that digit here. So the string uh, data we are going to read, character ASCII character we are going to read and that is assigned with the variable data. So this ASCII value of character we are storing in this transmitter register. So ASCII value of first character will be uh, given to this transmitter register. Next time it will be of next character. So once uh, we'll store this character ASCII value in this register, the data will be transmitted serially. Now we have to check whether data transmission is completed or not so that we can transmit the next character.
so for that uh, we have to check this uh, intra flag bit which is in pir1 register so this txif bit will check and if it is uh, zero then it will execute this instruction if it is one that means if condition is not satisfied it will execute a next instruction that means data is transmitted so when data is transmitted completely one character is transmitted we call some delay and then continuously it will transmit a, a next character and uh, to stop the program we are using here while one instruction and then end this program so in mplab software this project is created with the name serial and serial.c is the file where this program is written to transmit this data so we'll build this file and check for the error so build is completed and this uh, file is created that is hex file is created so we'll download this hex file using bootloader pick loader so pic loader and then press this reset button so here you'll observe the message then for bootloader press this bootloader button bootloader is loaded now select the file so this is the hex file select this file and press this write device so file is written now first switch off this close this uh, program that is bootloader program and then in tera team software we'll observe this output so open tera team software click here on serial communication and select the com port so com 12 uh, is used to connect this press on okay so when i'll put this reset button you observe the output string here 